Hello fellow modelers, Bruce here. It's time for a little uh, <clears throat> planning session as the work on the Benger Slate branch is uh, coming to a close. I got a little more scenery work to do, but uh, you know, ballasting is just about done. And I'm starting to think about how this branch ties into the peninsula uh, that forms the rest of the layout. And so I've already added some foam along the backdrop. Uh, you can see the joint here, I think, and uh, extended that about to oh, four and a half feet in under the uh, upper level and seeing how it's going there. So I'm starting to plan what's going to go on. So let me just show you some ideas that I have. Kind of see my thought process here. Um, as you come off of the Benger Slate branch, there'll be a turnout right here uh, where the straight through is going to go across the uh, parallel to the backdrop and continue on into the peninsula to the rest of the layout and will tie in on the far side. And uh, the other branch, uh, the other part of that turnout, uh, you see coming out here from behind this uh, support here, and it comes out over here and will loop around into the peninsula that direction. Um, probably forming a very large Y, but not necessarily. We'll see how that uh, works out. <clears throat> so let me go to the other side of that support and show you a few things that are flowing around in my mind. All right, coming off of the first turnout, I am thinking of putting a second turnout <clears throat> that'll go to just a small uh, stub end siding here. That'll be about uh, you know, three to four inches in front of the backdrop. And I have a number of background buildings that were on my last layout that have uh, loading docks on them, and they'll be against the backdrop, and that siding would serve those industries. So that's one idea. And that other track in the foreground here, again, goes over to the other side of the layout and will tie in. I do want to have one continuous loop on each level so I can run trains for the great grandkids and just let them run. Uh, so someplace in there, uh, that will take place as well. Then, and what I have to really decide on quickly, uh, because it takes up so much real estate and will affect these tracks. Um, again, this is the, the track that curved around that support and will come around and into the rest of the uh, layout. What I have here is some cardboard that represents a turntable and a roundhouse. In this area where the tracks coming off of the uh, Benger Slate uh, branch split, one going along the backdrop and the other one uh, coming across this way here, I want to try to put uh, my turntable and roundhouse. Uh, they are just such impressive uh, structures and uh, models to be on any layout. Um, so I have, from my uh, travels, uh, picked up um, from model masterpieces a turntable kit and a roundhouse kit. And if you look over on this side, you can see one, two, three, four cardboard templates that uh, are the floors, or the same size as the floors, of a four-stall um, cobblestone, I'll call it, a roundhouse made by uh, Model Masterpieces. And uh, it's uh, got one additional stall that I picked up. That's the one closest to you. So I could do a five-stall a roundhouse and a hundred foot uh, turntable, another model masterpiece kit. Both of them 
were picked up uh, from that same store that I've talked about before that, uh, as they were closing, brought up a lot of kits to have the big red X's on them. And uh, this was a kit that had been sold and returned. And the same thing is true uh, of the turntable kit. And uh, here's the reason why. These were made out of like a dental stone. The castings are beautiful. Um, as I think you can see here, you can see the stonework and so forth. But they are cracked. Um, this is the f front of the uh, this is the front of the roundhouse, and there's a crack that comes through right here. And on this one here, there's another crack up here. But this is not the worst of it. The worst of it is on the turntable, where you have six of these castings. And uh, two of them are cracked uh, all the way through. I think you can see this one's got two cracks. This one's got one crack here. So I have to quickly make up my mind whether these are salvageable. Uh, I've had them for many years. Um, on my last layout, I had a Walters roundhouse, six stalls, and uh, Walters turntable. And... Uh, just could not save them easily to bring them here. I wish I had spent more time and cut around them and brought them here, but I, I did not. So, um, yeah, I have to take the time to build these things or, or establish whether they can be built and salvaged, uh, in which case I will definitely use them, or I have to make the decision to buy some other replacement. Um, if you hold on a minute, I'll go get another kit and come back. I'll show you. I do have another roundhouse kit, uh, which I'll show you, but uh, it's got its own shortcomings. Be right back. The other roundhouse kit that I have is uh, made by a hometown um, company. And uh, I have a couple of kits by hometown, and at some point I could do a feature on them as part of my uh, uh, looking at... Uh, model manufacturers of old. But this is a five-stall brick roundhouse um, that makes up into something that looks about like that. And uh, they were, the company hometown was saying they were by Wabash Valley Lines Incorporated out of uh, Indiana. Uh, and so this kit is complete and does not have any cracked walls. It's uh, wood supports and uh, wood sides and so forth. But its shortcoming is that the brick walls are brick paper. So I'd probably have to use something. They just don't necessarily stand up to today's standards. And I would probably uh, have to replace these uh, paper walls by... Uh, some other type of brick material. But that's a possibility. And, uh, but still the turntable, uh, you know, would have to be the only turntable kit that I have currently is, is the one by uh, this, the, the uh, one by Model Masterpieces, which does have all those cracks in it. So. Yeah, I have to do a little bit of uh, tinkering here to see what, because if I were to try to buy the Walther's turntable and uh, roundhouse kits in today's dollars, the, their 130-foot turntable is about $280, and uh, their six-stall uh, roundhouse would be... You know, hundred hundred and ten dollars so yeah uh, some decisions have to be made here and I have to uh, figure it out they all take up just about the same amount of real estate so I could go ahead with uh, you know some of my tinkering in the background here um, as I've discussed and uh, then come back and tackle the roundhouse uh, and turntable after that Okay, before ending this video, I just want to show you one more thing, and that is the clearance that cars will have when going around this support. 
uh, coming off of the uh, Benger Slate branch. So this Peabody car, the car that you see is a 40-foot car. And you can see, I think, uh, the amount of clearance there is about an inch. Now the largest cars that I run are a couple of uh, old model die casting passenger cars that are 50 foot. And uh, that would have no problem there either. So. Yeah, I think I'm okay on that amount of clearance, so I can uh, finalize that uh, turnout. And uh, that'll be it for this uh, video. So, as always, if you enjoyed my ponderings on the, what comes next on the Jersey Highlands uh, Railroad, just uh, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any suggestions on glues to use uh, in trying to repair those dental stone castings, um, you know, put it in the comments. And uh, as always, if you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Talk to you again soon.